number one Iron Age booty daddy. Nerdrotic geeks and gamers, young Ripa, Razorfist, the critical drinker, Shadowversity, and many, many more have made a name for themselves on YouTube calling out the media that has been coming out from Hollywood for many years now. In fact, one of the highlight shows of the week for these guys is Friday Night Tights. And it's something that I've watched for years. Now, I've received a few comments in the past, and this is a video that I have been sitting on for quite a while. And I want to finally express in a video, instead of just addressing it on my Sunday coffees, but I want to address in a video why what these guys are doing is important. Now, a lot of people message and they say, man, I'm just tired of hearing people whine and cry about Hollywood and, and all this stuff. And don't get me wrong. I think to a lot of people having guys come out where it's their job, they've made it their job, it's their brand where they come out and they talk about how Hollywood, how creativity in Hollywood, media, books, writing, and all of the woke nonsense is I get how hearing that every week is you might be past that. And to a point, I am as well. I tune into Friday Night Tights, and if I hear an interesting conversation, I stay. If I don't hear an interesting conversation, I bounce, because I have my own Friday Night show that I'm putting together. But one of the things that I want people to understand is I don't want you to discredit what they're doing, because I think you're missing a critical point here. Friday Night Tights is going out there and they are tearing down the media the way that they always have done. And a lot of people uh, may be getting tired of it, but what you don't realize is that so many people out there have different jumping off points. So many people out there have different medias that they are attached to, different franchises, different IPs that they enjoy. And what Friday Night Tights is doing is staying with that message of look at how they're destroying the things that we loved. And the reason that that is important is because I didn't jump off and really start just eating stuff until, you know, Star Wars, until Disney started ruining Star Wars. They started pointing out a lot of things. They gained a lot of traction when, when Marvel fans were like, what is going on with Captain Marvel, right? They... Uh, all this stuff going on with The Last of Us Part 2 and people going, why are they destroying my favorite characters? You see the different jumping off points. Not all fandoms are one fandom. There are many different fandoms out there being absolutely eviscerated by the fourth great religion or what most people are calling woke. And what's important to remember here is that while there are people out there who like geeks and gamers, like Nerd Roddick and the Friday Night Tights crew, while there are people out there constantly tearing this media down and pointing out its flaws and all that, you need to understand that they are there for those who are jumping out of those mediums and looking for somebody to explain and go, what happened to this thing that I loved? And they're there doing that. The other side of this is usually, well, the comments that I get is, I've moved past this constant like, you know, hate bashing that these guys do, and I'm on to the creative side. I'm creating my own thing and pushing forward. And that's the other side of the coin here. And that's one of the things that I have said, and I've said it in live streams before, but I really, I, I've been saving this video and trying to figure out exactly how I would address it and make a clickbaity enough thumbnail for people to click on it. Hopefully I get some hate watches from this where people are like, you don't understand Friday Night Tights, and then they watch and they go, oh, wait a minute, bro. That would be great. <clears throat> I, the grift is real, right? They, I, I watch Friday Night Tights. They taught me how to grift. I'm, I must grift. But while they're tearing down the media, you yourself jumped off a while ago. You watched what they were doing. You agreed with them. You saw what they had to say. And then you got to a point where it wasn't enough to just watch these guys tear them down anymore or just talk about how bad the media was. You decided to go out and decided to create your own thing. And that is one thing that is also important. And I do feel that the Friday Night Tights guys could probably reach out to some more creative types in this space and bring them on their show. I think that if they were bringing on some of the people that maybe I brought on, those people would be able to reach an, a new audience and show that it's not just Young Rippa, it's not just Jay. It is a plethora of people out there building and creating. But that being said, what they are doing with tearing down 
Hollywood and the fourth great religion media or the woke media is still important because they are the net that catches people who are in a tailspin from watching their favorite IP. And when those people say, okay, I'm done hanging out on this net, it's time to go create, it's time to go promote my own stuff, that's where we need to build as a community. All of us guys that jumped on that Friday Night Tights net that caught us years ago when we were just like, what's going on? And we just needed that catharsis of somebody ragging on the stuff that we saw destroyed. We just needed that. And we've moved on. And that's fine. But now what we have to do is we have to build that other side of the coin. So when people say, okay, it's time to move on from maybe watching Friday Night Tights every week. We need to catch those people who are finally got the catharsis. They've gotten that emotional, uh, I guess, healing. That Because some of us, it's a, it was a big blow for me for Star Wars. That was a big one. And so when the people have finally moved on, they've got that emotional healing. They've got what they needed from that and from those guys. We need to build something there and say, hey, you know how you were a fan of sci-fi? You know how you were a fan of all these different IPs out there? There are writers, authors, comic book artists. I'm seeing people developing movies, people working on games right now. Come over here. Let me introduce you to them. Let's introduce you to these people. So for everybody out there who wants to comment and say, oh, commenting on this stuff and doing you know these clickbait videos where it's just commentary about how the woke are destroying more things it's done we're tired of it we want to move on you may want to but put yourself back in the shoes that you were when you fell off put yourself back in those shoes when your favorite franchise got ruined think about it someone else's favorite franchise is being ruined today it's happening it's happening right now it's going to happen again some some person that we may call a normie out there who's just oblivious to this culture war that's been going on this thing that they love might get destroyed and they go what's going on they need somewhere to turn to they're going to need somebody to probably search out and go i i, I I, I, do, do other people feel the way that I feel? And they're going to need people out there calling out this media so that way they still have a place to turn to. Again, we turned there years ago. And so for us, it might sound like a little bit of a broken record. But ultimately, what we can do is make sure that we're the other side of the coin. It's not time for Friday Night Tights to stop tearing down the old media. It's time for someone to build up the other side of the new media, right? And make sure that whatever this parallel economy is that we're building, whatever this Iron Age movement is, whether it's music or movies or games or whatever, we're there. So that way, when people reach the point where we're at, where we go, hey, we're kind of done watching the Friday night tights all the time. We'll still tune in because they've got good points, but we need to move on from just that and we need something else. Well, we need to build the something else. We need to make sure that we are catching people and giving them that thing that they lost. So let them get their catharsis. Let Friday night stop complaining about what Friday night tights is doing and understand where you were years ago when you started checking them out. Even I said that same thing about Friday Night Tights a while back, and I stopped and I had to think about it. And I was wrong. I said, man, these guys just need to stop. I don't know if I said it on YouTube. If I did say it on YouTube, find it, clip it, it's there. I, I think I said it in private conversations. But I was wrong. And I had to remember where I was when my favorite thing was being ruined. And this is a video that I've been sitting on for a little while. And it's just something that I wanted to talk about. Couldn't find a really good topic, but it's a positive thing that these guys are doing. It comes across as hate watching. It comes across as all this other stuff. But ultimately, there's an importance to it. And there's a bigger picture here. And I wanted to put this video into words instead of just answering comments here and there that I've gotten. Like I said, I've been sitting on this for a while. So hopefully you guys like my explanation of what I think is important about the Friday Night Tights crew and channels like it. 
and then also understand the importance of what we need to do as well. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching A Drink of the Crazy. If you guys like what I had to say here, subscribe for me, please. That would be utterly fantastic. The other thing I want you to do is comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. And the reason I tell you to do this is because I do a special live stream every Sunday called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central, and it's where I go and I read all of your comments. You guys get my reactions to them. I even try not to read them throughout the week anymore so you guys can get my genuine first reaction to what you're saying and get my real answer. And then if you guys jump down in the live chat, you can tell me if I understood the context of what you were saying or I didn't. And that's the best way that I can engage with you guys. So thank you so much for being here on A Drink of the Crazy. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description, and you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have... Over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origin, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier, he is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy, Kiko Mon, and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel, and I will see you all in the supporter live streams.